Panorama Ridge. No way. Yep. <laughs> Pretty nice. Can't beat it. Can't beat Can't it. Can't beat it. We can take it outside. So here we are, longtime BC residents and our first time doing Garibaldi Lake, Garibaldi Lake, I don't know how I want to say it today, and uh, Black Tusk and Panorama, we're going to try and do them both in a day, it's going to be a big rip, we got here at 10, uh, slept in, so that wasn't bright because it is fuller than full and uh, we went through the Canadian border services at the bottom there. I'll show you that uh, that video. I'll pop that in in now. That was pretty funny. BC Parks has uh, tighter security than the U.S. Canada border. Let us in. We're thinking two hours to Lake, two two hours for Panorama, two hours for Tusk, and two hours for a Sidekicks dinner. That's the plan. Forgot to give you the time. We left at 10:15. We have been hiking now for five minutes. We're about four kilometers up. And uh, and my back is like a stream, like the Nile River running down my back. I'm trying out this new shirt here. At the junction, this looks kind of like a um, some sort of encampment, but uh, no one's staying there. It's just they're just taking care of the sign. One hour fifteen to this point. You can't camp in Taylor Meadows right now because of the grizzlies. There's an outhouse there, which we don't need. And we're heading up this way. We are we are sweating so much still, but. Uh, Making really, really good time, so that's that's a positive. Check out this baby lake, Lester Jerb. Oh my God, I forgot my fishing rod. That's devastating. I've wanted to fish here for so long because I know it's so good yeah. and it's so it's easy. Like the fish are popping I know that's what I'm saying. I can see all the fish surfacing. All that's so hungry before the uh, the winter. Oh my God, we were wrong, and this is actually Lester Garibaldi Lake, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The blues are just incredible. We're just sneaking off the, the trail a bit to check it out. But man, look at that thing. So the other one looked like a pond. I was like, man, that's ugly. But this is, this is totally beautiful. <laughs> Lesser Jerobald, pretty beauty. Eyes on the lake for the first time. And as expected, it's packed with people. What's really interesting is the walk here is so close to the edge of the water. I wonder if there's much more rain or snow melt if this whole trail would just kind of be gone. I'm not too sure, but we're just kind of walking along. Wow, wow. Just to the lake, I've been under two hours, but buck 50, and this is mind bogglingly breathtaking. So I think we're hiking up to the Tusk and we're hiking up Panorama Ridge, which is that guy right there. Flipping gorgeous. A little quieter over here by the sights, which is nice. Hour and 50, here's where we're calling home for the night. Quick setup, then we'll get moving again. Camp's all set up. What do we got for lunch here? Got the classic mush up. Peanut butter it's jelly little, mush. It's a little smush. Always is. Oh right on. Mmm. You stay up with the blueberry. Mmm. Blueberry bag. Not a French toast bag though. Real good. We'll be up there shortly with the hordes of people. hate pumping water as much as the next guy. I really hate it, but uh, the view this gorgeous. There's not really much to hate. This glacier is incredible. I wasn't expecting the glacier to be this big across from the lake. But the water's pumped. Laura's hanging the food in the bear hang. And we're gonna get hiking. We're gonna make it up, uh, hopefully, to the top of Panorama, right up there. And then we're gonna go to the top of the Black Tusk if uh, if timing works out and everyone's, everyone's feeling good. So we'll get after it. The funnest part about the day is we got our bicycle helmets because people were saying there's a lot of rocks falling and we don't have rock climbing helmets. So we were like, okay, we'll bring bicycle helmets. So from the junction at the campsite there, Garibaldi Lake, uh, Panorama Ridge viewpoint is 7.7K. And part of that is to the junction with the Black Tusk viewpoint. And right up there, you can see the Black Tusk poking out behind that mountain. That's the, uh, that's the Tusky Tusk. Very Tusky looking, very black. So. Name makes sense to me. Black Tusk to the left, Panorama Ridge, dead ahead. I think we've spotted out uh, 
the next part of the trail. We're going across the valley here, and then we're going up that ridge there, kind of where those trees are behind that little pond, and then up to the top. The rocks are real interesting here. It almost looks like this lake dried up and that's just the, the black silt on the bottom. Gorgeous. And there it is, the tusk in all of its glory. I'm gonna be on that thing. Holy Christ, so cool. So now we're on the ridge portion of Panorama Ridge. I got that big old tusk behind me and there's quite a bit of snow in, uh, in front of us. And most people are standing right there, so I'm not sure how far along this ridge you're able to walk, at least today. But we're gonna get some height and hopefully be able to see the lake. Starting to see the first little piece of Jeraboldi Lake there. Nice. There's lots of snow on the ground. Um, must have been a pretty big snowfall the other day couple centimeters enough that it's staying making things a little bit more slippery we're getting near the top now winds picking up a little bit but this is absolutely gorgeous the lake is massive I never expected it to be this massive I think the top is probably gonna be pretty busy but man look at this you just can't beat it an hour and a half, and uh, we're at the uh, we're at the Panorama Ridge. It is absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. You really just can't beat it. It can't be views like this. What a gorgeous September day. Glacier all around us. Loving it. This is pretty fucking unbelievable. It's gorgeous. The snow makes it that much better right now. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Definitely better than I expected. Oh yeah. It yeah, it's actually a good view right here too. It's uh, it's 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 definitely better than I expected. Totally lives up to the hype, and it's super easy. That's the best part. Like it is not hard to get here, get in the mix. It's long, but it's it, it's relatively short. So you lots of flat parts. Yeah, you're gonna put in you know probably an eight-hour day but it's gonna be worth it and it's not that much elevation gain realistically and it's just these glaciers in this blue lake are just absolutely blowing my mind. Gorgeous. You just cannot beat it. Now you know why you have to wake up 6 a.m. Yeah. Okay. The whole mix of terrain is what's so cool. You've got the massive black tusk. You've got snowy, the glacier in front, the snowy mountains. And then you've got the, uh, the lake peeking out. And all of that together is fucking awesome. Now we're on the official Panorama Ridge Summit. Gorgeous, there's the 360. Just Laura and I, and the black toss sticking out. Yeah, all to ourselves. This is something else. He's on top of the world. Ah! <laughs> that hair is jumping, jump. Uh, super windy up here, but amazing. Uh, we had some water replenished a little bit we're gonna start making our way down now and uh, maybe have a snack down there and maybe end up climbing to the base of the tusk maybe we'll see doing a quick quick restock quick break panorama panorama ridge was fabulous you can right there yeah right there and uh 
quick refill. Oh my god. It's oh my god, if you, a baby around. Oh my god, if you lost the water. Yeah, that would be funny as hell, wouldn't it? Not really. But there's a lot of water, lot sources, of water sources, so we're like, using Gucci. Um, we're gonna have a quick snack. Uh, probably a granola bar and some of these gummies we got. And then we're gonna do Black Tusk. Didn't miss the taste of our water. Our water bag tastes really bad. Didn't miss that. Those are a lot of these little flies <laughs> flying straight up my nostrils. Also don't like that. But everything else, like everything else, yeah, everything else I like, no doubt about that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So we're back at the conjunction and as if we didn't have enough um, elevation yet today, I think we've done about 1500 meters. We're gonna head to the Black Tusk viewpoint um, and hike another 500 meters. Let's make it 2K. Awesome. We are getting very hot again and we're going uphill. I think we just did about the first 50 meters and we're sweating, but Panorama was very busy, very filled with people. This is definitely the less popular route by a mile, by a mile. And we're gonna see if one is truly more worthwhile than the other. Combo punch, baby. So we're gaining a bit of ground. We can see Panorama right there. And we're getting a gorgeous view of the, of the lake as we hike up. A um, little less trees now and I think we're going to turn the corner here and then we're going to hit the human stair climber. Nothing like it. There it is. The big ugly tusk. To Black Tusk City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Yeah. Oh, step in a puddle. Turn it. Make our way to the scramble. It is just as gorgeous as panorama. There's no doubt about that. Pretty steep already. Oh, I see a sign up there. It's the end of the maintained trail to the Black Tusk. So this is the end of the Black Tusk viewpoint. So up to here, that was pretty quick. That was less than 20 minutes for us. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous view. 20 minutes. Half an hour? Yeah. Okay, half an hour. Oh, even 10 minutes. All these, Laura's always get, Laura's always getting me with the technicalities. So it's an extra little push up to the bottom there. And they, they don't recommend you climb it because of, you know, loose rocks, but we'll see how it looks when we get up there. A calf crusher, knee blasting, ball of fun. And, uh, oh, just what you need at the end of a hiking day to do the steepest, hardest route. Genius, two geniuses, but we're creeping up on it. Slowly but surely, we're creeping up on that big, dirty tusk. We're getting onto that moon rock. Makes with a bit of snow. And the sky behind us, the sun's not quite setting, but it's already kind of turning color. And it is goddamn beautiful. The closer I get to this big hunk of rock, the more scared I get about that scramble to the top. And the more doubtful I get that I am going to do it. But that's okay. I'm a hiker. I'm not a rock climber, you know? Just finished the Stair Climber 2000. Oh, oh, I gotta slow down. Wow. Oh, man. Give me an ever-loving break. It's gorgeous over here too. Oh, man. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Got a little bit of snow. <laughs> you go skiing. Gorgeous, right? All the snow. It's not that exposed on the left side. Here we are. We are touching the task. Um, I'm not gonna climb it, cause like I said, I'm not a rock climber. I'm the furthest thing from a rock climber. Pretty risk averse guy actually. And uh, close enough for me. It's windy, it's wet, it's slippery. And we're just watching like balls of snow come down. But I think you go around to the south side and then you go up and there's something a little more reasonable to get up it but we also don't have that much time the sun starts to set so this is beautiful oh you can see the ocean from here wow come on right how sound wow. oh is that gambier no i don't know i i'm disoriented this is i don't know i almost beautiful this is this might be better than panorama look at that freaking rock here Black Tusk. We wanted to see it for so long. Yeah, we now we're here. We wanted to be up close for so 
long. I also wanted to climb it really bad, but I gotta wait for better conditions. Yeah, it's a little warmer. It's so cold. Woo! This has got to be one of the coolest contrast of skies I've ever seen. Yeah, it's awesome. This 360, this 360 is mine. I think this is better than Panorama. You can see all the planes flying over. So many mountains. That thing is massive. Woo! Uh, this is epic. This is epic up here. So unbelievably gorgeous. Ah, oh, man. Goodbye, goodbye, Rock. It was fun. Bye, Bye Tosk. Yeah, <laughs> I'll come back one day when it's not icy and uh, and my hands are warm. And maybe I'll conquer you, but I probably won't. <laughs> Just saying that. Cool. Cool. Shoot. Okay. I have succumbed to the cold and I put on a jacket. But uh, we were the only ones hiking up this thing. It's way less popular. I got no idea why. It's like a million times. Well, okay, not a million times better, but it's pretty sweet. That's the campsites right back on the corner of the lake there, so we're not too far away. Um, it was done. Ah, this is amazing. Like this is just some next level stuff. It's nice. We got the little softies on the way down. Do the boot scooting cowboy boogie. We can say that after. God dang it. Okay. Sometimes filming and scree skiing. Ooh. Woo hoo. <laughs> Yoo hoo. Yee hoo wee hoo. Wee hoo. Wasting away again in Margarita Searching for my last shaker of souls Some people claim that there's a woman to blame But I don't It's my own damn fault Enjoying an apple, looking over Jeroboli Lake, the ocean, the mountains And I'm going to show you guys a little magic trick just about finished my apple here, and I'm gonna make it disappear. <laughs> Nothing like a core. Nothing like a good core. Pack it in, pack it out. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. So we just encountered our first ever grizzly bear, and unfortunately, it was on the middle of the trail, um, so that makes things a little bit more complicated for us. It was eating some berries or something and it didn't, it didn't see us. It kind of looked up at me as we were walking away. I don't think it could have been bothered by us. Like it was, it was, uh, it was actually like a medium sized bear. Didn't look like the other ones we'd see in the adolescent ones. It wasn't skinny. It had some size and it had that pie face. So that's a, that's, it, it's pretty cool to see one. But it's a little bit of a bummer because it's in the bush there, so we're gonna kind of have to wait it out here until it passes. So Laura's walking with a couple girls up there. Um, we had a relatively close encounter with a grizzly bear. We come walking down. Laura goes, "What's that?" I look down, and lo and behold, there is a the brown butt of some sort of bear in the bushes, about as far away as the other side of the river is to us. So. Uh, you know, we go look, we go look at, uh, we go look at what's going on, kind of look around the corner and lo and behold, this grizzly bear takes a little peek back at me. We're like, oh my God. So we turned around and we got into the bushes and walked back up the trail, gave it a bunch of room, you know, walked backwards, watched it. Um, and then the, uh, and then we decided, okay, we're going to make some noise, walk back down the trail and see if it's still there. We come down, there's two grizzly bears and they're still messing around. So we did a huge detour. We walked, uh, we walked way up and uh, we walked way up and way around. So we went up about 150, 200 meters. So really tacked on some more elevation to our hikes. We hike up 150, 200 meters and, uh, and get around the bear and we go walking kind of just roughly through the bushes and back down, super loud. I'm singing, you know, I was singing some Bob Dylan songs, just, just blaring them. And a couple, of, I think I was singing Brown Eyed Girl for like 10 times straight in the Bahamian Rhapsody. There's a lot of crazy songs going on, but we get around, uh, you know, we get, probably 200 meters away from where they were making a lot of noise we come back down from that traverse we hit the trail we run down laura was like hopefully i'm gonna run into some people we ran into some people so it was nice we walked with a group of four back to the campsite which was sweet and uh, and what a gorgeous view to 
to walk back into. It is just stunning. But it's nice, you know, to be with a group of four as we walk back, um, just so we could be a bit louder. And, and yeah, that was, uh, that was exciting. That's the closest uh, grizzly encounter we've had. It was absolutely uh, massive. And, uh, and, you know, I think we did a pretty good, pretty good job keeping our distance. You don't want to bother it. Just, just do your thing. It'll do its thing, but give it a heck load of space. So that's, uh, that's all. We're going to, we're going to make some dinner now. I can't believe how gorgeous, gorgeous today was. It was just mind boggling, bogglingly beautiful. Uh, and it was an absolute blast. So we're going to, we're going to make a, a classic dinner here, but just thought I'd fill you in on the, uh, the little, a little grizzly encounter that we had and kind of what we had to do tacking on a, a lot more hiking time to, to make the day even longer but all is good all is well and uh we're back at the campsite right on so we're eating in the dark now and uh and you know who it is it's your friendly neighborhood sidekicks lover and tonight we got a real banger on the menu it is a pesto parmesan penne mm. can you say that with me pesto parmesan penne alliteration at its finest and deliciousness at its finest as you can see right here perfect amount of soup juice perfect amount of pasta perfect amount of pesto fire this thing up in the crock pot we're enjoying it right here here's the bag none of that 25 dollar mac 2 serving junk this is the real deal right here parmesan pesto we're gonna finish this up and then we're gonna get off to bed but it was a crazy day thanks for coming along So we got the uh, we got the tent down, all packed up, and uh, thankfully there's this great shelter here. So we're out of the rain, we're packing all our gear up before we hike out, and we got a gorgeous view of uh, of the lake. So we're gonna get the coffee uh, finished up, get these bags packed, and then we're gonna boogie out out of here. Enjoying a perfect morning brew. Feels so satisfying when you get up in the morning. Everything from when you pack up, you're soaking wet, everything's wet, you feel like it's a living hell, you know, and then have your coffee and you see the view and you're like, oh yeah, that's the reason I'm here. But until that moment when you're in the forest, yeah, exactly. Okay. Right on, this is a gorgeous one. Everyone's got to do this one. I think it'll take us, finish this coffee, I think it'll take us about an hour and a half and then uh, and that'll be all and, uh, and I'll let you know how long it takes us when we get to the bottom. I'll see you down there. In the car, we're back in the parking lot. That was amazing, a lot of fun, you know. Black Tusk, killer, Panorama Ridge kill killer, Garibaldi Lake, killer. Our positive bear encounter wasn't killer, but it was cool. Um, yeah, it was an hour and a half. Uh, hour and a half down to the bottom and uh, that's all for today folks so thanks uh, thanks for tuning in get out there go do something outside can't beat it all right see you later